Hey, there's a total fool out there I've been debating name. Uh, he goes by the name Kaiser Cube. He's a real moron. So let's see. See, I bet him. He believes in fake space, just like a good boy. He believes everything his teachers told him in school. And he's not smart enough to figure out what's really going on. So um, uh, we got into it about the moon uh, and the eclipses. And for me, it's a proof that um, the moon is really smaller than they're saying because you have a little bitty 70 mile path of totality. That can't equal a 2,000 mile moon. You can't, because you can't make a shadow smaller than the object casting it. So, so he comes with this science stuff, but it only works in, in little pictures, my friend, little boy. It doesn't work in the real world. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So he, he comes out, he, this is his video here. He had the nerve to make a video about me. All right, it looks like uh, we have a new Don't Fuck uh, nominee that I'm gonna be presenting this year for Don't Fuck of the Year by the name of, uh, is it Vlad Flat or Vlad Lad? How am I the dumb fuck? He can't even say my name right. It, Rad Vlad, it's a very easy name. I don't, I don't know what's so hard about it, but he can't say it. I don't know if, if he's dumb or you're trying to be funny. But he's not, he's not smart, and he's not funny. Let's see. But he claims that shadows don't shrink, they fade. This is actually a half-truth. Um, when I, I told him the shadows shrink, I actually told him the umbra shrinks while the penumbra expands <sighs> as the object uh, gets further away from the... Uh, well, well, what's the, in which the object that's eclipsing gets further away from the object in which it's eclipsing. And this is a perfect example of this right here. I have my finger very close to Get a off, booger right there on his and finger. you see no, virtually no penumbra. You'll see a little bit of penumbra on my knuckles right here. When, Using close, those fancy words. You're a very index. scientific guy. Really no penumbra. I've umbra, no penumbra. penumbra. Oh, umbra. I see a shadow. As I get further away, <clears throat> the penumbra expands. And as you can see, the umbra <laughs> shrinks inside of the penumbra as an expanse. All right, well, he, he's really boring. But um, I can tell you, I watched the whole video, and no, I'm going to run the mouse across it. Nowhere in the video did his, did his shadow ever become smaller than his hand. So he failed to prove that. But he, he's talking a lot of fancy science words, but he, his shadow ne never got smaller than his hand you don't you don't see a little uh, 70 mile uh, path of totality for a 2,000 mile moon he sure didn't show that and let me let me show you what that would really look like if he wants to do an experiment in his laboratory over there at, at his mom's house where he lives put a marble the size of earth right there and then come way over here and put a marble the size of the moon okay and then try to flash, cast a shadow from here to there. <laughs> try to do that. You can play around like this with your with your finger and make a shadow. But look, yeah, I don't go too far. It's gone. No more. Look, gone. Go, because this is what's really supposed to be happening. You can, you can, you're supposed to be able to fit 30 Earths from the tip of your nose to the moon. I counted out 30. There's 30. There you go. Try to try to cast a shadow from here to there, outside in the sun. Good luck with that, buddy. And then show me that, and then put a little little shadow of the of the moon right here that's smaller than that moon over there. You you can't even make a shadow stretch that far. Stuff doesn't work like that. But but he's not smart. He looks in in his science book and in a little picture, the little fake diagrams. And uh, he, he believes as he's told. But he never used his own brain. You know? So let me, let me see what else we got. And there, oh, here, so here's the bet. I told him. He's wasting my time debating. And I told him, I'll bet you a thousand dollars you can't make a shadow smaller than the object casting it. That was our moon debate. So let me, let me show you some more stuff. Now look, if I Google uh, image magnifying glasses, I just get a bunch of magnifying glasses. 
No problem there. If I Google uh, magnifying glass burn, then you start getting stuff like like that. Like what their umbra penumbra uh, shadow looks like in a diagram, but not in the real world. But uh, when you uh, use a magnifying glass, you can burn up a leaf, you know, because you can concentrate the sun rays into a little, little uh, uh, point in a... That, that bug is a he he's on the road to glory right there um uh, anyway you know that happens but it doesn't it doesn't happen with shadows guy not in the real world shadows just fade they're never smaller they don't do this they don't do they don't do that um now this is a funny thing look at when i google umbra penumbra just google image umbra penumbra right right there Look at all this space stuff I'm getting on the page. All these diagrams, because they've got their moon, earth, and sun. But, um, and all the way down, Google image. It's all you got, diagrams of fake space, the whole way down. But, you know, umbra penumbra, like a magnifying glass, it's just a word for, a, a, for a parts of a shadow. It's like anatomy of a shadow, umbra penumbra. But uh, when they did the magnifying glass, we didn't go right to the magnifying glass burning a bug. You just have pictures of magnifying glass. Here we go right away to the to the uh, umbra and penumbra burning a shadow into the earth from the sun. So if I if I Google um um umbra penumbra shading for artists to try to get more specific, I start getting stuff. That would help an artist, you know, understand shading. You know, I guess there's an umbra penumbra here, umbra penumbra. You know, help you shade. And look, the third picture, we already have the earth, sun, moon, and earth already. Who's trying to make me believe this stuff? Why is it like always there? Look, again, sun, the sun, sun, moon, earth. There's a shadow here. Look at this. Look at the, I mean, look, this, I just noticed a picture. That's how the eclipse should have looked. If the moon was really 2,000 miles across, it should have covered the whole United States. But we sure didn't see that. We saw a little, little bitty 70 mile moon. How, where, where's your 2,000 mile moon? It's right there in a the picture, but we never see it in, in the real world, in real life. You dummy, you look at that right there. So, so then look, look at this too. I mean, that's what we should have seen. Where's your? I mean, look, I'll show you this. This is what he's. This is what he's believing. This this little picture here, this little picture he believed, a little cartoon, for idiots like Kaiser Cube. Here's 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 the sun, moon, and Earth eclipse. By the way, that moon is very close to Earth. We saw how far it's supposed to be. Way over there. You know, so they make they want to make it work on the little diagram, but but even here, so here's here's the little, they do this so that you'll believe in the seventy mile eclipse, path of totality, seven mile shadow, okay, it's a picture, guys, and uh, but but again, look now, okay, you got your umbra, where's your penumbra? You you can't just have umbra without penumbra, your faded shadow is covering an area on the globe that would be the size of the United States. I was a, I was there, I remember the eclipse. I was in LA uh, looking up. It wasn't sh shady that day. I could see the sun and part of the moon was eclipsing it a little bit. There was no uh, um, a penumbra anywhere. It was a hot, sunny day. Um, and uh, um, it shouldn't have been because there should be some uh, a faded shadow covering the whole United States it was, that wasn't there. It's just all lies, man. But this idiot believes it because because he doesn't have a brain to think, or he's lying. I don't know what what his thing is, but he's sure losing this bet. You can't have umbra without penumbra, and you know, because I'm looking at it right there. The whole United States should have been in a, in a f faded shadow at least, but it wasn't the case. And so, I believe in this debate. 
I won, and I believe he owes me money, a thousand dollars, because he he's sending me little uh, he's sending me little uh, uh, messages. Hey, when are you gonna pay me, bitch? Here's here's he's gotta pay me. Here's what here's what's going on. There you go. That's Kaiser Cube. <laughs> That's Kaiser Cube. That's what happened to you. Hey, dummy. You shouldn't have made that bet, huh? When are you going to pay me? Huh? The thousand bucks, huh? You lost. Your finger never, shadow never got smaller. And uh, that that's not even comparing apples to apples. That's apples to oranges, man. And you, you failed there. Let me see you uh, put uh, a little marbles out there in the in the uh, in the in the correct um, distances and try to try to just try to even put a shadow on that of the moon on that earth man from that distance <laughs> only in the cartoon my silly little friend huh send me that money yeah